What's up everybody, DJ Beneficial from 991 KGGI, back at it again with another vlog. And in this video today, I got a couple things I wanna share with you. First off, I got my package today. I've been really looking forward to this. This is the DJI Mavic Mini Drone. I got the Fly More combo package, which has the extra battery, the carrying case, all the bells, whistles, and goodies, and all that stuff. So super excited about that. Um, we have a mixer meeting at the station today, so right about now I need to take off so I can make sure I get there on time. I wanna make sure I don't get caught in any kind of traffic or anything. So I don't have enough time to do the unboxing right now, but when we get over there after the mixer meeting is done, I'll go ahead and do the unboxing there. Uh, they have a conference room, so I'll just go ahead and do everything over there. Um, also, they have a big parking lot too, so I think I'll go ahead and give this thing my first test flight and I'll show you how that goes. Um, so this will be my first time putting some drone footage in my video, so that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, later on in the video, I'm going to be heading over to the foundation room at House of Blues Anaheim. I'm DJing the after party after the concert. So we'll get into that in a little bit later, but if you want to go ahead and just skip forward to that part, I'll put the link in the description so you can just go ahead and fast forward if that's all you really want to see. Um, other than that, if you can, just go ahead and give me a subscription to my channel. It would really help me to grow and to be able to put out more content. I'd really appreciate it. Um, but other than that, let's head over to Riverside right now. All right, so I just landed here in Riverside. I'm at iHeartMedia 99.1 KGGI. I'm about to head inside and see what's good. We got all the mixers meeting up today for our meeting, so I'm gonna go inside and see who's here already. And you know what? It is a good thing I got here early because check it out, we got donuts. I have some donuts with my coffee. All right, so the first one to show up is my boy right here, DJ Acer, on air mixer KGGI. What you rocking right now? Rocking the salute, the DJ. Shout out to Empire Records right. for the sweater. Check out the wrist. Yeah, look at that, Empire look at logo. that, look at that. This guy's a beast, man. Go ahead and follow him. I'll put the link right here so you guys can follow him on Instagram. Check him out, he's a badass DJ. Look who just pulled up, the so homie guys, Nine Dirty. KGGI, baby, 99.1. I'm gonna put the link right here too on his Instagram, man. Follow all the KGGI DJs. There's not one of them that are bad, man. Every single one of these guys are beast mode DJs, so you gotta check them all out. Let me give you guys all the links. All right, so we got Garrison's Secret Brew. Let's try that out right now. Oh no, we're all out of Garrison's Brew. I got the last. This guy took the last of the brew. Took the last, man. All right, let's see what we got here. 10.55 a.m., so that's only like 20 minutes ago. This should be good. Last brew. There we go. So it looks like we're not going to get to know what Garrison's secret was, but we got some good old-fashioned KGGI coffee, so. All right, decided to settle with the maple. Bomb. Yeah, my homeboy right here, DJ Seth, one of the baddest DJs in the IE. Um, Thank you for the kind words, brother. Bro, this guy's a beast. No, I'm not even. I'm not even hyping it up, man. This guy is legit. Check him out on Instagram. I'll put the link right here so you guys can check it out, man. Check me out. He's got a lot of cool videos, a lot of scratch demos, stuff like that too. So definitely check him out, man. My boy's, my yeah. boy's lit. Yeah, no big deal, baby. Yeah. yeah, big shout out to my man DJ Quest too. He's a good buddy of mine. We've actually uh, been homeboys since we used to DJ at the mall together, and uh, I've known him since uh, before he was on air, before I was on air, and everything. So. We've, uh, we've come a long way over there, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is. All love, baby. Yeah, big shout out to my buddy. I'm going to put the link right here so you guys can check out his Instagram account. He's dropping a lot of really dope scratch videos and everything. So um, he's one of the dopest DJs I know. So I just want to show my man some love. Check him out on Appreciate Instagram. That's how we do it. Get my memory stick. That extra data space. That. Let's see where the opening is right here. All right. Got this nice case. I think the drone is inside there. Let's open it up. Wow. This thing is small. Look at this. It's right in my hand, just like that. Wow, so this thing is really small. Look at that, it fits in my hand, just like that. 
Everything smells really new and plasticky right now. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, what this? Oh, this looks like it's a uh, some kind of charging port here. Looks like I can charge on the go with this. That's cool. Let's see what's in here. Probably an extra battery. All the goodies right here. Okay. Got QR code readers. I wonder what that takes you. What is this? A little screwdriver. Interesting. Looks like we got cable, charging cable. Okay, got plenty of those. It never hurts to have an extra one. Let's see what we got in here. Some other type of charging cables. Not really sure what these do yet, but we'll check that out. Looks like different type of adapters. Looks like that's the iPhone adapter. Got a USB-C. And then this is probably if you got an Android phone or something. Let's see what this little one does. Oh, these are the joysticks, I think, for the controller. Yep, look at these little joysticks. And another cable. So we got two of the same kind of cables. Wonder why they gave you two. It's always good to have extra though. I like this velvety kind of plastic that they're using. It's like, oop, it's like all matte finished. And the controller. Ooh, it's like solid in there. How do I take that out? Oh, so it kind of clips in. Oh, it snaps in there pretty good, yep. Let's take this out. In the joysticks, I think they're supposed to just screw on. Okay, oh yeah, they screw on and then they kind of click in, that's nice. And this part's supposed to open up, yep. And that should be where you put your phone. Oh, so it's already got joysticks in here. These one are extra joysticks. I guess these will be the extra joysticks now. So I'm gonna get my phone in there and take this thing for a test flight. And one last little box. Let's see what goodies we got in here. What? Oh, these are the propeller blades. Looks like uh, extra propeller blades. So I guess if you damage your propeller blades that are on there, you got extras. I wanna open this up. Take this plastic off. Oh, holds in the gimbal protector. Instructions one, two. I want to. Okay, if this is all loosened up. I want to. Okay, put it up that way. Wow, these blades feel really thin. Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, you gotta take this part out first before you flip the back part. I want to keep this gimbal protector on here. How do I do that? There you go. Got a gimbal protector. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this down right here. And I'm gonna set this down over here. Let's see what else we got in the box. This feels empty. Is there anything in here? Oh, there is something in here. Oh, the propeller guards. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in the box. Who really uses propeller guards? Some candy, leave that later. A couple more boxes. I think these are the extra batteries, judging by the plug logo. Oh, that's the plug to charge it. This should be the batteries. Got a battery logo on there. Usually the logos give it away, huh? Wow, I got three batteries. Empty box stuff. Look at that. Three batteries. So I can charge all three at once. I wonder if these things are already charged. Hopefully these things come already charged. That way I can just go ahead and use this thing. If it goes in like that, ooh, clicks right in. 
click, click. Charge all three of them at once right here. Pretty cool. And then last thing is this. I don't know what that symbol is supposed to mean, but let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, all the instructions and all that. Um, I like to watch videos more than I like to read books and pamphlets. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch somebody else's YouTube video and see what I'm supposed to know before I go ahead and take this thing for a flight. Um, and I might just read these things too and see what they tell me to do. So give me a minute, I'll be right back. Now, unless I'm mistaken, it looks like it charges them one at a time, even though they all go into the case together and they didn't come already charged. So I gotta wait for this to power up before I take it for the first flight. So I'm gonna let these charge up and then I'll get back into it. All right, so just gauging on the fact that I've been sitting here like 30 minutes already and it hasn't gone up past two meters, it looks like it's gonna take a long time for this to charge. So I think I'm just gonna just head home now. I got a DJ later on tonight. So uh, I wanna just kind of go home and relax a little bit before I gotta go to work tonight. So um, probably just gonna take it home. Oh, it just went up to three bars. Still though, it took a long time to get there. I'll go ahead and do a test flight a little bit later on. All right, well, unfortunately, the drone I got today came with three batteries that were all dead and needed to be charged. Um, I tried charging them up, but the uh, it was just taking forever to get them all charged up. They're actually still charging, and it's like hours later. So that's going to take a little bit more time. But um, I'm out here right now at the House of Blues. Well, at the Garden Walk Mall, headed to the House of Blues right now to the foundation room. I'm going to continue to charge the batteries. Maybe if I'm feeling up to it. I might try it out tonight, but most likely I'm probably going to have to do my first drone flight tomorrow instead of tonight. Um, so that'll be on my next video, but check it out. This is the Garden Walk Mall in Anaheim. It's a really nice place. Um, so yeah, I might have to save my first drone flight for tomorrow's video, but um, we're gonna hope we're gonna go ahead right now and head into the foundation room and uh, continue the video from there. All right, so rolling out from the foundation room, I just got done doing a four hour DJ set, um, which, you know, isn't really that bad. I've done eight hour sets, DJing at the mall, I've done six hour sets. Uh, I actually did a 12 hour DJ set not too long ago at the outlets at the Citadel. But I think uh, two hours is a good time for a DJ set. I think more than two hours, you really just start getting kind of fatigued. Um, I'm super tired. I've been up since six in the morning, so I'm gonna head home and get some nice, well-earned rest tonight um kind of bummed i didn't get to do the drone flight today um they the, the freaking battery has been charging all day long and still is not done being charged so i gotta go home and finish charging it um but first thing tomorrow morning i'm gonna take the drone out for the first air test so that'll be for tomorrow's video and then tomorrow i'm gonna be at leo's corner tavern 
I'm super excited. I've been trying to get into this place for a while and they finally gave me the opportunity to do it. Um, super stoked. It's a really nice club. You guys should check it out. Um, check it out on uh, Google. Just Google it. Check out the Google images. Um, look it up on Yelp or look up their Instagram. Um, that's what's going on tomorrow. First flight of the drone. Leo's Corner Tavern at night. And uh, I guess uh, I'll see you guys then. Peace.